Thank you, Senator Ellis. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here, and, and I've got uh, some strong ties to the Durant area. Uh, I uh, came to Durant back in 2003 and managed the final construction phase of the Dollar, uh, excuse me, of the Big Loss Distribution Center, and uh, ended up working here in the Durant area until uh, about mid 2007 when I decided to retire. And last in retirement, about two months, I said, "Man, I got to go find something to do. This is boring." And God forbid, I never dreamed of doing this, but. Uh, uh, it, it is a pleasure to be here with you. I have a daughter and grandkids who live here in Durant, so I've got some, some strong ties to the Durant area. Uh, when I first came here, uh, there's a little bit of competition, as we know, between the east side of the lake and the west side of the lake, and, and that centers around tourism and recreation, and, and very competitive uh, uh, relationship between the two communities of Ardmore and Durant when it comes to economic development. And uh, as we know, they, they battle for, for industry quite often. But one thing that brings us all together, no matter which side of the lake we're on, is the issue of water. Uh, we all understand how critical water is to our survival here in southern Oklahoma. And when I talk about survival, I mean physical survival. Of course, we know we, we need water physically. But if we're going to survive economically, we have got to have a, a long-term, sustainable source of domestic water, for, or water for domestic and for industrial development. Without that, uh, we cease to exist as a people. And that's a common bond that brings together South Central Oklahoma, which I call the sunny side of the Arbuckles, and Southeastern Oklahoma is an issue around water. I know that Senator Ellis back in, in his term voted for Senate Bill 288, which called for a moratorium on water uh, a permits on the Arbuckle Simpson Aquifer, and mandated that a, an extensive study, scientific study, be developed and be conducted on the Arbuckle Simpson so that we can understand the, the nature, the delicate nature of the aquifer and understand how the aquifer works. So by doing that, we can understand the impact that we're having on the long-term sustainability of the aquifer. The enemies right now of the aquifer, in my mind, are the aggregate miners. The aggregate miners are having a, a detrimental impact on the Arbuckle Simpson. Every time they dig into the aquifer, they relieve pressure on the aquifer. And when you leave pressure in a pit, you've got a spring somewhere that's going to lose part of its flow. As the springs lose flow, it's going to have a direct impact on you here in the Durant area in southeast Oklahoma because you depend upon the Blue River. Without the Arbuckle Simpson, we have no Blue River. Without the Blue River, we have no Durant. It is critical that we protect the Arbuckle Simpson aquifer, that we do not allow persons or corporations outside our area dictate water policy to those of us in southern Oklahoma. Farm Bureau is on the wrong side of the issue when it comes to the Arbuckle Simpson. They tell us that they're concerned about our property rights. Well, property rights depends upon your perspective. If you live and you depend upon the aquifer, your property right is your allocation of water that's guaranteed to you by the equal proportionate share which was set by the Oklahoma Water Resource Board. That guarantees every property owner the same access, the same amount of water from the Arbuckle Simpson. It doesn't depend upon your political philosophy. It doesn't depend on how powerful you are. It doesn't depend on how much money you have. Everybody is guaranteed the same access. If you're outside the Arbuckle Simpson area, property rights means selling water to Oklahoma City or Texas. So that is the perspective. My position is we have to protect the Arbuckle Simpson. The 0.2 acre feet allocation of water for every property owner over the Arbuckle Simpson guarantees us that right forever. It cannot be taken away. Is it too low? It might be. The Farm Bureau is questioning the science behind uh, the decision to come up with the, the maximum annual yield of the aquifer and the EPS, equal proportion share. They question the science, but they have no other science to, to, to counter it with. There is no other science. There's only one study. It's a study right now that the Oklahoma Resource Board approved and used that data to establish the equal proportion share. I was endorsed by Farm Bureau. I never used that endorsement. And I'm sure when we asked them to come to Ardmore for a visit, they wish they had not given me an endorsement when they walked in the building and they saw over 400 citizens who were angry because of the position that Farm Bureau has taken. They were intimidated and the men hightailed it and threw a woman into the crowd. And that's exactly what they did that day. And bless her heart, she, was, she wasn't ready for what she had to confront that day. But we had over 400 citizens that came from the Grant area, from Tishomingo, from, from Ada, from Arnold, from the entire region, because they shared a common concern, which was the long-term sustainability of the Arbuckle Simpson. My wife Lynn and I celebrated our 50th wedding anniversary back in January, 
We have four daughters, we have 15 grandchildren, and we have 12 great-grandchildren, number 13 is on the way. So we understand how important it is to preserve the future for our children and grandchildren. And that's what we have to do through, the, through groups like the Oklahomans for Responsible Water, for water Policy, by, through CPASA, people that have the best interest in water and the survival of this part of the state, that they, we work with them and help them through legislation, through public policy, protect a valuable resource that we depend on for our lifeblood. It's a pleasure to be with you here. If you're from District 14, Frank Simpson, check it on the ballot next Tuesday. But it's a pleasure to be able to serve you and serve the citizens of Carter, Love, Hurry, and Johnston County. So thank you so much for being here tonight.